All right, let's consider uh, the case of uh, the reaction of sodium metal with chlorine gas to form sodium chloride. All right, the sodium metal is a solid, the chlorine is a gas, and it will form solid sodium chloride. Okay, now let's say I have um, 5.00 grams of sodium metal. And I want to know how much of the chlorine gas will I need to react with that. Okay, so the um, thing is, since this is a gas, um, I'm going to use PV equals nRT. Okay, um, and, and when I say how much of the gas, Let's say instead of grams, I want to know how many liters of the gas I will need um, if I'm doing this at standard temperature and pressure. Okay, so I would have to give some conditions um, and then I could say what volume of gas would I need uh, to use in order to react with five grams of sodium metal, all right? So how are we going to approach this, okay? Well, as I mentioned, uh, if we had grams here, it, it would be no problem. I could find uh, how many grams just by using our familiar relationship. The grams of A, we can convert that to moles of A and then to moles of a different substance B and then to grams of B okay so I could go moles or rather grams of sodium to moles of sodium to moles of chlorine gas to grams of chlorine gas right but in this case I'm not asking for grams I'm asking for liters all right and I'm giving that it is at standard temperature and pressure. Um, so essentially, I'm going to find my moles of B just like I would in this case, but then instead of converting to grams of B, I'm going to convert to um, liters of B, right? So let's see how we're gonna do this. To go from grams to moles, of course, I use the molar mass of A. To go from moles to moles of a different substance, I use a mole ratio from the balanced equation. And uh, I would use the molar mass to go to grams, but to go to liters, I have to use PV equals nRT. All right? So, and, and the liters, I'm gonna take my volume so I'm going to take NRT over P. It's at standard temperature and pressure, so I have those. All I need is the moles, because I have the constant, and that's what I get here. So having the moles, given the temperature and pressure conditions, it doesn't have to be standard temperature and pressure, but as long as I know what temperature and I know what pressure, and I know the moles from uh, my calculation there, I can find the volume. All right, so that's how we would set that up. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, work this one out. All right, so we have 5.00 grams of sodium metal, and then our first step is to convert that to moles using the molar mass. All right, and for sodium metal, it is a uh, uh, 23.0 grams to one mole. All right. And um, next I have the mole ratio, which is a two to one mole ratio. Two moles of sodium to one mole of chlorine gas. All right. So now I have moles of, uh, of chlorine gas. So that's my N, okay? 
moles of chlorine, that's N. And that's where I'm going to use PV equals NRT to find, uh, to find this. It would um, probably be easiest to go ahead and calculate my value for N uh, first, and then plug that in to the uh, uh, ideal gas law equation. Okay, so um, all right, let's uh, work this out. We have um, five point zero zero grams of sodium divided by twenty three uh, grams per mole, and then um, divided by two to uh, convert that to moles of chlorine. So I have 0 0.1087. I'm going to give myself one extra significant figure um, since I'm not done with the calculation. All right. So there's my moles of chlorine gas. To find the volume, the volume is NRT over P. Okay, so my N is 0 0.1087 moles of chlorine gas. R is 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And uh, my temperature, since I'm working at standard temperature and pressure, standard temperature is zero degrees C, standard pressure, one atmosphere. Right? So my zero degrees C, I have to put that in Kelvin, so that's going to be 273.15 Kelvin, and then I divide this all by my pressure of one atmosphere. Right? So looking at the units, my moles on the bottom there cancels with moles on top. My atmospheres on the top cancels with atmospheres on the bottom. Kelvin on top cancels with Kelvin on the bottom. And I'm left with meters. Okay. So when you calculate this um, out, we have, um, uh, and I just cleared it out, but 0.1. 087, we can go with that, times 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, times 273.15, and there we go, 2.44, now we can round it off, um, this will be 2.44 liters. So this would be the volume of gas, of, of chlorine gas, that I would need to react with 5 grams of sodium at standard temperature and pressure. Right? So if I, I, I would need that size of a container to have 5 grams of sodium um, inside with 2.44 liters of chlorine gas. Okay, that's um, how that would work. Five grams of sodium with a container that has 2.44 liters of chlorine. Okay, but the idea is uh, you can use PV equals NRT in conjunction with a balanced equation where you have that mole ratio uh, going from moles of one substance to moles of another. The same old thing that we've seen before. Whenever you get into moles, well, that's our link into PV equals NRT. Whenever we're dealing with a gas, then we can um, find the moles of that gas. And uh, given its conditions, we can find its volume um, as well.